Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Werner card to review today. So this card is rated lower than the team of the season version of himself. However, they actually gave him the four star skills, right? So the bare minimum when it comes to these new cards that come out is the fact they have the bare minimum of four star skills, four star weak foot. And the fact that he now has it makes a card uh, way more usable in my opinion, right? So we're taking a look at a card that is 5'11", high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills with a four-star weak foot in regards to his in games he already has perfect pace with 99 acceleration 99 sprint speed don't necessarily need to improve that uh shooting on the card for base card stats look okay <laughs> uh with 99 attacking positioning 99 finishing 93 shot power and 82 long shots now in regards to the chemistry styles, right, it's really going to depend on what you aim for the most when it comes to uh, the players that you're using in FIFA, right? So the reason why I gave him the sniper chemistry style, which is my saving grace in this garbage game, is um, because I want the players to be as responsive as possible, right? If you give him the marksman chemistry style, you're not going to be messing with the balance too much. However, if his base characteristics for dribbling isn't that good anyways, then a marksman chemistry style is going to be the way to go because if you're not going to notice a significant difference with giving him a dribbling boost with a sniper chemistry style no real point of doing that right so if we take a look at what we're looking at over here in game the two uh chemistry styles is sniper and marksman right so with the sniper you could see that you actually significantly increase his dribbling stats as well as his composure while also giving him 14 in penalties but you could see that his long shots and shot power are kind of low if we take a look at his traits doesn't have the finesse shot trait or the outside foot shot trait so me worrying about long shots is not necessarily a big deal because uh werner has base characteristics of of you know running in behind the defense right so even on stay central he likes to do that a lot i i I feel like in the past when I used him, it was always stay central, get in behind. But I'm going to try him on just stay central because of the way that my other players are kind of formatted in the way that they move off the ball, right? Um, but again, with the chemistry styles, sniper, marksman, you can see with the marksman chemistry style, you boost the dribbling a little bit, but it's the shooting that you feel a, a more of a significant difference, right? Now, because his base card stats for shot power is already 93, I feel like that's fine because, again, I always feel like a player plays more to their base card stats anyway. So I think the dribbling may not be something you can improve anyways but you improve it as much as possible it's kind of like one of those things right uh but yeah with the passing on the card he doesn't have great passing right uh he does have 70 long passing but short passing is 98 curve is 80 all that good stuff but again he just feels like a pure striker it's not a card you're going to use in the cam position left cam right cam not really that type of deal right uh defending on the card nothing uh he has heading accuracy at 99 stamina at 99 and he also has 80 strength with 77 aggression right so the way that we are going to be lined up with werner in the squad is going to look like this we're going to be using the 4-2-3-1 with werner playing up top as a striker with uh diogo jota and Bernardo. Bernardo Silva playing on the sides. Bernardo Silva is not really a player I like to use on the sides, mainly in the middle, right? Because of the way that he moves off the ball on the sides, he's very, he's very like Salah like, right? It's very linear. I'm just going to cut inside, cut inside, cut inside, cut inside constantly, right? But uh, in the middle, it feels like he's actually moving across the pitch a little bit better, right? On the sides, not really a crazy fan. Uh, with him. So that's why I want to use Timo Werner on stay central because I want to see how that's going to work off of someone like Bernardo Silva that likes to do that, right? Uh, Bruno Fernandes is also kind of aggressive from time to time as well in regards to the runs that he makes. So that's also going to be very interesting. We're going to only have Timo Werner on stay central. Uh, I'm also going to tell him to come back in defense just to cause that balance between everybody kind of coming back and then pushing forward because uh, there's not, there's no real point of uh, counterattacking because the game's like real defensive anyways, right? So in my opinion. Uh, so we're going to be using him in the 4-2-3-1, 4-4-2 as well. I'm just going to switch this over here to Conte, and then Timo Werner will be playing up top as well. Uh, we're going to switch Bruno Fernandes because Bruno Fernandes actually has uh, the outside foot shot trait as well. So Timo Werner will play as one of the strikers. I'll switch between both of the formations. Again, you'll be able to feel the card anyway, so we'll see what's up. Let's get into a game, see how he plays. We'll probably start off with the 4-2-3-1. It really depends on how my uh, opponent's going to line up defensively. Oh, this guy's probably doing the objective too. He's probably using... He should use a different formation though. It's good to use like a 4-4-2 or a 4-2-2-2. I don't know if it's a 4-2-4. I think it's a 4-2-4. The one that has like the left wingers because wingers are actually forwards as well, right? So he should probably work something with that in regards to doing the objective if he's going to do it. Oh, if the possession-based tackling was actually good in those scenarios, I would have gotten that ball. Timo Werner would have made that run right away. It would have been nice. I feel like I have to force the actual stay central getting behind out of the card for him to fully utilize it. I might have to. 
He's very like stagnant right now in the state central. Like he ha he follows the instruction well, but I want him to be I want him to move a little bit to kind of open up the space. We'll see though. See? Starts to get in behind right there. But I want it to be forced so that he does it more consistently, if that makes sense. Oh my god, that would have been nice if I actually got that through. Uh, Timo Werner actually moved to the side over there on Stay Central, so I might have to actually force the get in behind part on the card for him to move across the pitch a little better. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that because it's something that I'm noticing right now in regards to the rest of the team and how they're, movement, uh, how they're moving. Because if I tell him to get in behind, I feel like it'll force him to stay central more often as well. Yeah, you see how he's not doing it right there, but then he kind of triggers it a little bit later. That's when you want to kind of like force it out of him, I think. Force our skills in that situation to be able to do the... Scoop turn, very, very helpful. Um, so what you notice with the card so far that you catch right away is the fact that his dribbling is not that responsive, right? It's just something that you will notice on the card. Uh, not really going to change. Forgot to put stamina on my players because of the uh, me trying to get the card here. Um, I'm actually going to tell him to stay central, get in behind, or just get in behind. I want to see how he plays without the stay central part. Um, I just, I feel like I remember that when I use the team of the season and stuff, getting behind was just the most ideal thing to do for him. Um, Cause stay central right now, he's too stagnant. He doesn't, he doesn't go into the space quick enough. He doesn't understand that he has to move right away, right? Especially with the 99 attacking positioning, he definitely should be, but attacking AI in this game is very bad, so. See, getting behind once you force out of him. Oh. Try a finesse shot from there. Okay, good block. I just wanted to try a little few, a few things here and there, but you could see right away that when you put get him behind on the card, it's the best way to utilize it, right? It's just, uh, it's the fact that his base card stats already has the pace. He kind of utilizes his uh, attacking positioning more when you actually force the uh, instruction out of him as well. It's these situations where you want them to move into the middle instantly though, like that. And then I could do like a first time shot. Situation like that could just settle the ball, do a ball roll touch. He shoots with his left foot. Did not want him to shoot with his left foot in that situation, but it is what it is. The goalie does a leg save. If I put more power into that, I probably would have actually scored. But uh, yeah, you could see right away that getting behind is just the way to go uh, when it comes to using this card. For dribbling, guys, it, what I am noticing so far is because his dribbling in general is not that good, it could be a situation where... A marksman chemistry style might be the most ideal situation. I don't think you'll ever get this responsive feel out of this card in general because of his base characteristics, right? Uh, base card stats at 87 bounds is not great with the height that he has. So it could just be something where you just want to give him the marksman and then utilize his getting behind uh, instruction as much as possible. Like in a situation like this, you don't have to focus on dribbling too much. That was a terrible pass. You don't have to focus on dribbling too much because he just has to get into the space, shoot, and then go from there, right? So increasing long shots, shot power could be ideal. So he's on getting behind, but he actually does stop as well. Shot across goal. Oh, nice little block there. He fouls me, but we're not going to get anything. Oh, we're good. Gonna score that opportunity. Nice. You could kind of see the emphasis part on the card, even though we got into the space really nicely right there, right? You could kind of see it. He's definitely... I'm telling you guys, he he feels like a state central getting behind. I think he was the same for his team of the season and stuff too when I checked out those cards. Or if you guys have ever checked out the reviews in the past, I may have said the same exact thing for him. Because, you know, base characteristics usually stick with players. The only player that didn't stick was Sancho. That card, when he got improved, was really nice. Werner getting behind. Oh, changes his run right there. That's pretty good. Dribbling under composure. Uh, I mean, composure there. Pretty solid with a sniper chemistry style, actually. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Yeah, it's not that responsive. It's not that responsive. I really feel like that's just going to be a base characteristic with the card, where you're just not going to get that out of him, you know? It's, it's weird. These types of cards are very strange because of the way that the gameplay kind of plays out. It's, it's a situation where it's like, do I want to give him a marksman or do I want to give him a sniper? I just, it's weird, man. Get in behind. Ball roll. Boom. Across goal. Good little block right there. They usually get into the net right away, so it's just a, a thing right there. 
Yeah, you can see that his animations, though, very sloppy, so... We'll get a free kick out of that. Let's see... Does he have any free kick stats? I don't think you can really see free kick stats in-game. Okay, you can't. I want to try a finish from the side over here, then. That's what we're going to do. Pass the ball off to him. Near post? Ooh, nice finish. Very nice finish. Remember, the sniper chemistry style not really influencing that too much, right? So... Alright guys, so final verdict on the Timo Werner card. His base characteristics is very similar to all the cards that he's had. Even the team of the season, the uh, player of the month card. He's a very stay central, get in behind or get in behind type player. Stay central, he was a little bit more stagnant, right? But when you force the get in behind out of the card, the way that he moves with that instruction on the 99 attacking positioning is more relevant. You can see it on the pitch, right? Now, it's a pick your poison situation with this card in regards to chemistry style. If you give him a marksman chemistry style, you're going to be not you're not going to be increasing his composure, which is at an 84, which is quite low to be fair, and his balance is going to be an 87 and that with his 511 height could be influential because of his average body type. But if you give him a marksman chemistry style, you do also increase his shot power and long shots. You can also give him a sniper chemistry style where you do increase the dribbling as much as possible. However, his base characteristics of a little bit of sluggish dribbling is still going to be noticeable. And in very tight situations, you will notice that it's not going to be too responsive for you to open up the pitch for yourself and score the opportunities. You could, you definitely could give him an engine chemistry style to boost the balance as much as possible as well. However, I still think that his base card stats is not going to make him dribble that crazy, right? Now, do I think that Timo Werner is a fun striker to use? Yes, but the chemistry style is really going to depend on you guys and what you want your players to do on the pitch, right? Um, because a sniper is nice to boost the composure as much as possible as well as a dribbling, but a marksman is also nice to boost the shot power by a plus five when he does get into the space on getting behind, stay central, or just getting behind Behind and score the opportunity so it really just depends on you unfortunately this is the type of card that whatever chemistry style you give him he's still going to be lacking in one area of the card in regards to being really nice in the game but it's a chelsea striker card from a transferred player so you can't necessarily go wrong with that it's also a team of warner with a four star weak foot from a gameplay objective so it's pretty cool to get this card it's just unfortunate with the way that they improve players and the way their game mecha game mechanics work the dribbling is just not necessarily up to par for him to be um crazy in game but did i have a lot of fun using him yes i'm probably gonna be using him as my main striker uh for nowadays because i like to use players for fun anyway so um hopefully you guys enjoy this video i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys